Well, please make absolutely no mistake about it at all. The illegal migration crisis in terms of small boats across from France to England, despite all the tough speeches, despite the millions of pounds the UK has handed the French, is far worse so far this year, even compared to last when we saw 28,000 people come across illegally on the small boats. Of course, one of the suggestions has been the uh, processing offshore of those coming across. It is one idea. It seems to me it would cost an absolute fortune. Uh, but of course, we're paying nearly £5 million a day on hotel accommodation now anyway. Uh, but in terms of what the British public think on this, before I get to the Conservative rebellion, you'll see there YouGov uh, back in November 2021 found that the prospect of sending people who apply for asylum in the UK to another country while their application is processed, where many more Brits support that than oppose, 47% support uh, a third of the country opposes. Uh, two more popular uh, policies, though, would be attempting to intercept migrant boats in the English Channel and turn them back towards France. I mean, that's something I think we should have done long ago. Embarrass Macron's government. We know the French would have gone absolutely potty, but it might have actually finally got a resolution instead of the dangerous, increasingly dangerous situation we're now seeing unfold that's been getting worse for a number of years. Uh, in terms of that YouGov poll, an even more popular policy, Britain refusing to accept asylum applications from people who have entered the UK illegally and could have reasonably claimed asylum in another safe country. And of course, if you're coming from France, you're coming from another safe country. So that's a bit of a reality check in terms of British public opinion on this. Uh, but pretty Patel, it seems, in terms of potential offshore processing of migrants coming across uh, via this route, is facing a quite major Conservative rebellion, being reported that around 50 Conservative MPs, maybe more, could try and force the Home Office to drop their plans to process uh, asylum claims outside of the UK. Now, this looks like it's been spearheaded by the likes of David Davis and Andrew Mitchell to stop the government overturning amendments made to the Nationality and Borders Bill by the House of Lords. And I did do a video on how the House of Lords really ripped to pieces and Pretty Patel's Borders Bill, this being one aspect of it. Uh, Andrew Mitchell telling MPs the ministers want to house asylum seekers on Ascension Island, over 4,000 miles away with no direct flights and an inadequate airport and no infrastructure. So we would effectively have to build a British Guantanamo Bay and use R RAF planes. One thing's for sure. I mean, after we saw, of course, that record number of 28,000 people come across via this route last year, what we simply cannot have, and we've seen some of the forecasts being as high as 60,000 plus people who could come across so far this year. We cannot simply allow this situation to continue. Something has to be done. I've said it before. Personally, I'd be revoking French fishing license every time the French authorities fail to stop an illegal migrant boat coming across. And I would also, ahead of the French presidential election, of course, where Macron has basically adopted a bash the British approach, I would actually embarrass the French authorities by the UK taking the boats back over to France. But look, let me know what you make of this potential conservative rebellion that Pretty Patel is now facing. I will keep bringing you the very latest on this, guys, so please do give this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, thanks for watching.